Welcome back, disc golf fans, to the first event of the 2024 Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour here at the Valhall Open, presented by Latitude 64. Big shout out to all of the tour partners as well and our Patreon supporters. I am Derek Skull, and beside me I have Fritjof Fagergren. Hello. Hello. Nice to be here again. Yes, wonderful to be back. Today we had a little bit more of a chilly day. Uh, the wind was picking up there on the back nine as well, so I'm looking forward to showing everyone kind of how today went. So let's take a look at our card here for the lead here on moving day. Why don't you tell us a little bit about some of these players? So we got Ulf Fredlund with a hot round from the first round. Um, new, uh, newer player, been playing for like three, four years. Carl Falk, uh, he's actually quit his job and living out of his uh, touring van now. So cool to see him up here on the on the lead card as well. And Anders Sverd, uh, uh, old timer, uh, really famous in, in Sweden, six time Swedish champion. So uh, hole one. 207 meters par four. You want to chuck one that ends up on the right side of the fairway from the from the gap of the tee and uh, have an approach uh, into the green and make sure not to miss left long. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, you know as this course is really only uh, just over a year old, um, so there is still a lot of things that need to kind of be matured and played through. So we're going to see that. You know, over the years to come, but as that being said, there is some hidden branches, uh, stumps, and things like that. and Makes the t oh. fairways really tight. Absolutely. Yeah, you need to throw pure shots here to get to the to the landing zones. Here we see Carl Falk chucking a gold, I think. Gold. This is a little yeah. inside. Yeah, it looks like it got away from him a little bit there, leaving it a little Anders short. Red. And here he is, six-time Swedish champion. He is just so good with the backhand. He has such control and touch. Um, one of the best throwers in uh, in Sweden, definitely, if not the best. An unfortunate kick there. My name is Fritjof Fagergren. I'm uh, 23 years old from Stockholm, Sweden. Well, I started in 2019, so that's five years ago. But I've been practicing and working my ass off the last three, three and a half years. My goal with disc golf is um, I'm just trying to go as far as I can and make my career as long as I can. Obviously, like everybody, I want to be the best. And I know it's gonna take a lot of work and dedication, but I'm willing to sacrifice everything and just put my all into this and keep pushing for as long as I can. And we'll see where it goes. To win this tournament would be uh, amazing. Um, Last year at Skåne Open I got, I got second place. I was one stroke from, from a win. And I think right there, I, that kind of changed my mindset a little bit. And I, I feel like I, I could really do this. I could really pull it off. This year I, I feel like I have a different demeanor. And I'm here to put myself in positions where I can pull off a win. And it would, it would mean the world. It would be my first A tier win and yeah, I would be happy. <laughs> Uh, when I'm not playing disc golf, I'm uh, thinking about disc golf or thinking about playing disc golf. <laughs> but when I'm not doing that, I'm probably out playing tennis or paddle, 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 yeah, whatever. Or just hanging out with family and friends and, uh, and enjoying life. Nice little piece there. Good to kind of get to know you a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. My good friend Jonathan uh, filmed and helped me put that put that together. So, thank you, Jonathan. So on round one, we saw you absolutely lace this shot with the forehand. So we're gonna have you line up the similar shot here. Great skip there at the end, and I'd say that's probably perfect. That's ideal. Yeah, that's where I'm aiming to be. 
And I think he was aiming uh, more to the right gap. I'm not sure though, but he faded out into kind of a semi-rough and we'll see what he has from there. Carl is chucking a kaksa, trying to get as much distance on the fire as possible and he ended up around 35 meters from the pin. So he's in a okay position, has some trees to navigate. Here's Udla and this is, this is leaking from him. It actually might have been favorable for a tree hit, kind of keeping him a little closer than he could have been. Yeah, away from the OB. And you find yourself pin high after two. Yes, happy with the result. Yeah, I'd say I think you have this whole one figured out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so far at least. And here's a really rare one. Uh, Anders uh, usually doesn't throw any forehands unless he's in trouble, so well executed though. He's going to have a hard putt to the basket though, so we'll see if he goes for it or not. And Ola there with a forehand as well, just a little left, but really good height. Yeah, Carl just pitching it out there, uh, get a par look, and yeah, Anders does not want anything to do with that putt there. Uh, I don't blame him. <laughs> a lot of danger behind the basket. Oh yeah, really great start. Really a nerve tester here on the first hole with the race basket from Ulle really showing off he, uh, that he belongs on the, on the lead card. I really like Carl's stroke on the putt. He has a really consistent uh, pop uh, out of his hand. So you're going to see right there. Just a little nose up with a little hyzer. He's such, he's got such pinpoint accuracy with that thing. That really comes in handy with elevated baskets. Oh yeah, for sure. And he's actually sponsored by a company called Sense Blend. They're really cool, based in Sweden. They, uh, um, it's an app on the on, on your phone that you connect with your Apple Watch, and it tracks your movement on your of your hand. Whoa! And it tells you like when you're doing. So you do a putt that feels good, and then you press a button, and you're like, oh yeah, this is what I want to recreate. And then they, it tells you how close you are to that same stroke. Wow, I'm gonna have to check that out. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, so moving on to hole two, uh, 194 meter par four, turning right uh, downhill with left uh, side OB. You have a really tight shot into the green here uh, with uh, another raced basket. So here you just want to get some distance and put yourself in a good position off the tee. If I remember correctly, I think you went with a forehand on round one. I did. So what made you change to a backhand for this one? Um, well, this, kind of. Uh, there was more of a headwind on this day, mm -hmm. and uh, I really didn't want it to leak left. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, very close there. Gets yeah. real high in the air. A little nose up, but he's not going to be in any uh, real danger there. This, however, solid. Yeah, this looks really nice. Well, a little early, but he's going to have a shot into the green. And there's a lot of obstacles in this fairway, in particular, given the rocks and things like that. Yeah, that took an unfavorable kick. He's going to be OB. It's a unfortunate error. This looked really nice. It needed some more uh, drift down to the right side, but it stayed stayed close close to the OB, but safe. So mm. okay. okay, yeah, well, safe though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm thanking the tree for that one. And this was actually a route I was looking at, but I didn't have the balls to go for it, and he just <laughs> freaking pured it. Yeah, and that's just great. He has a look for the birdie from there. Yeah, just shows how accurate he is with a backhand. Yeah, I think that also speaks a lot to like uh, the confidence as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I 
I think this, yeah, this was a planned layup. And that's, uh, that's a good play. Good play. Par is good. Carl was definitely not laying that one up, though. <laughs> he's he's trying to make him from everywhere look good as well. And as you said, par is good, especially when the field is really scoring uh, in those single digits. I think the hottest round so far was five. Yeah. Yeah. It is a hard course. The first day uh, we had par was 992 rated. Oh wow! So I don't know exactly the the round rating on minus five, but it's uh, it's well over a thousand. All right, so hole three, par three, 96 meters. Uh, you have a choice here from the tee: go right side gap with a backhand or a forehand. Uh, on the left side, crashing into the green. And something to note, it is the first par three of this track. Yep. That was a good tree, I think. Yeah, a really good tree that may have been in danger of skipping long right where there's OB there on the road. And that was looking really nice, but it just got some foliage on, and the end at the end there, so. This one's Bad just work. going right at it. Yeah. This is his oh. <laughs> bread, and, bread and butter here with the MD3 just straight down the gap. Really nice shot. Yeah, I love to see it. And going a little higher here, similar line, and this one's just going to yeah. nestle right <laughs> under the yeah, pen. That's going to work out for him real nice through a glow Rico right there. Oh. It's a ballsy bid from Ulle with the slope going down to the right. Uh, I like the bid though, but yeah, it got a little unfortunate with the roll away. Slightly right for you here, but again, early on, plenty of time to make up for it. Yeah. These are the putts that you think about after the round though, that you want back. Because I've seen him putt, and uh, usually he he makes those. So might be that his mind was playing some tricks on him. Mm. Looking into the sun from where he was as well. <laughs> You're gonna see me do this a lot. <laughs> It's cold out, man, and it's yeah, it's sure. windy, and uh, I don't want to I don't want to play with my jacket on because it kind of I feel like it restrains me. So I just have to keep putting it on and off all the time. Really nice bird here from Anders. And here we're <laughs> we're discussing if because uh, the AMs are playing some holes for the AMs are the same as for the pros. And there's a CDP pin right there to the right of his disc. So oh we're really? discussing if oh does MPO has C CDP too and uh, and eventually he was just like I don't need any more discs you know <laughs> like. <laughs> So just screw it. Hole four, par four, 125 meter, uh, going down the hill through the gap here. You wanna have a good speed control so you don't go off OB off the tee, but you really wanna push that line to get a clean upshot into the green. 
And here we have similar wind as yesterday, uh, right to the left pushing wind. So you really want to, if you want to throw it hyzer, you want to keep it kind of on the right side of the gap because it's going to drift the, the whole way. Mm, Svad puts it a little bit short, but it's going to be in an okay position. And Carl getting um, fortunate with the branches there. Um, and he's going to have a play on the pin. I think all things considered, uh, they get a little bit more progress here than round one. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't want to be on the left side again. <laughs> and this is this is how you want to do it. Yeah, this is great. It, keeping it out to the right as well opens up the angle. So the up and over route, like to see it. Yeah, it was looking really good until that oh. tree hit. Um, here is his specialty, the forehands. He's really great at forehands. He actually, when he started out playing, he was playing only with a forehand. Really? I don't know for how long, but yeah, we talked about that yesterday. And you can you can see that on how how good it is now. And Carl just throwing a casual recode to parked for the birdie. Really nice shot. And another forehand from Anders. It's the second one this round, and he does it really nice. Puts it close. Great job there. I'm lucky I have long legs. <laughs> yeah, and a great putt. Birdie on this hole is uh, is a really good result. Yeah, I got, actually got to play a few of the holes of the course before the event started, and me being an 860 rated player, I was very happy to get the birdie on this hole. Oh, nice. Okay, go you. Hell yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's another putt he's going to want to have back. No harm done, though. Oh, I remember now. I had ra erased that from my memory, so <laughs> <laughs> I just got a flashback. Like, God damn it! <laughs> nice birdie from Carl too. That's a really nice one to pick up on the front nine. All right, moving on, forgetting everything and going to hole five, par three, 59 meters uh, downhill. Here we have a headwind on us uh, today, uh, again. And uh, yeah, you wanna keep it inside the inner circle for the MPO field and everything else is hazard. And they've really, that's a great shot from him. Great speed control, putting it just barely before the inside circle letting it skip inside and here you can see he didn't get the same skip because it or is that safe yeah I it is so, safe. yeah it is safe okay he got the same skip so yeah and i remember as as you said yesterday um the center circle is very manicured yeah. so uh, the short grass gives it a lot of skip yet the outer grass uh not so much so yeah really knowing Th that's kind of where your course intelligence comes into play of like knowing the ins and outs of where exactly you're playing. Yeah. And great putt for a par save here. Yeah, fortunately I found myself in the hazard. And uh, as we mentioned uh, yesterday, if you ace this hole on camera, you get the you get the Koenig sig. But before everybody gets a little too excited, it is a hot wheel. Yeah. Not the seventeen million dollar vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But maybe one day the sport will be there. Maybe. Next year. <laughs> Love it. Great, Great birdie. birdie. Yeah. Yeah. He's um he's found something. 
He's doing something right. Three in a row uh, on the front nine. Getting hot early is uh, really, really good on this course. Yeah, as you mentioned in round one, the front nine is a little bit of a tougher play. Yeah. Nice bird here from Carl, too. And uh, unfortunate bogey there, him uh, being a little long on the on the tee shot. Hole six, 86 meter par three up the hill. Here you wanna either throw a hyzer flip that uh, fades right at the end uh, and stays on the hill or a force over through the gap that fades onto the green. And this is that hyzer flip play I was talking about, oh, wow. executed to perfection. Really nice PD shot there from Anders. Yeah, and leaving himself uh, in good position to not have nearly as much of a death putt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he's going to be safe there at least, so going to have a clean up shot to the green. I saw that reset there from you. What was going through your mind? What did you have to readjust there? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. Beautiful That's, shot. Yeah. <laughs> get, just getting wrecked. Yeah. Well, the the reset, um, I don't know. I think I was uh, struggling getting a good grip on the disc. Really, really nice shot there from Ole. Just unfortunate roll there. But that's, you know, that's what happens when you go in with Heiser uh, into a hill like this. It's uh, it, could, it can be mean. And here, Carl, <laughs> kind of uh, letting that one go a little early, but getting away with it. So, so thankful for that. We have you here attending uh, to some dead and unattached um, stuff in your way. Yep. Had to check it with the guys first, though. Which is a smart move. You don't want to do something without getting the approval of the card. Yep. That'd be a silly stroke to get. Yeah, for sure. Well, they're just a little bit low on these putts the last couple of holes last three four holes here so the score not really reflecting his play too well I think and Anders for the fourth birdie in a row oh yeah <laughs> cash He's just so good. Gotta love seeing a so, full so card good. of green here on yeah. our score bar. 49 years old, just giving us the business, you know? A good, good par there from Carl and, uh, yeah. Moving on. Hi, yeah, yeah, check this pad out. I think you should use your wrist a little bit more. Is he okay? I uh, usually it's fine. Hole 7, 182 meter, par 4. Uh, you have a sharp turn to the left and you have some trees to navigate. This is the tighter left inside line. There's also a, a little more open right side gap. Uh, you just want to either play through one of the gaps or bomb it through and just have a see what you have for an upshot. Kind of a scrambly hole, this one. And unders. Doing a great job keeping oh, it on yeah. Heiser all the time. It's a really nice shot, gonna set him up for a for an approach to the green. This is a little oh, bit high. high, yeah. He's gonna be a little tough to see exactly what the reaction was there, but um, should be kind of right where that dog leg starts. Yeah. Great clean drive here too. 
Another hole I feel like you have pretty figured out, dialed in. Yeah. I'd say so. We'll let he uh, just pushed it a little bit too straight, so you want to put more hyzer on that one, and it would have been really good. I had some trees to contend with, a little awkward stance there, but he, he made some progress up the fairway at least. And here oh. is another <laughs> one of his forehands. <laughs> yeah, they're just so clean. Dancing right into the circle. And we all thought this was going to go in. And I just hyzered out right as it passed the basket. He's thinking about making this. Ah, just mm. didn't put it up enough. Kind of dropped in the. We had some uh, tailwind on this hole. Really nice putt from Anders. Routine birdie, and he's five for five. What a guy. The only blemish was the was on hole one where he laid up the fourteen or sixteen meter putt for the bogey. Otherwise, he's been so clean. Three birdies on a par. I'd say that's good for the for the card. Job well done. Hole eight, par three, eighty four meters, um, going straight down. Uh, the gap and then turning sharp right at the end you want to throw a high forehand that just dies into the green on the um, early or short side of the basket or throw a backhand like Anders he just didn't put in enough uh, Anheuser on this one though so it's gonna be long around 16 meters for the for the birdie That's a really good uh, recalculation from your first shot uh, on the first round, um, playing a little early and letting it just kind of filter closer to the pin. Yeah, thank you. And Ola just... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and he has the power to just go like hyzer, like sharp hyzer angle, just a little flick, just pumps it right at the basket. And this was looking, it was looking so good. It was just a little high left and just caught a caught a branch. It's unlucky. Yeah, that's a smart play as well. Yeah, just taking your medicine. You don't want to get it, take it, uh, make it go go away from you here on the leaning green. Yeah, that backward slope there on the back side of the pin can really lead to a lot of trouble. Yeah, and I think that was the third or. Yeah, I think that was a third forehand from Anders this round. Let's see how many he, he does. And that is and that is very rare. Yeah, that is very, very rare. Yeah, he, he only does it when he's uh, out of position. He he told me yesterday, yeah, you can usually you just count the how many forehands I did, and that's going to tell you how, how bad my round was. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, this round is not bad, and he's executed three or four perfect forehands so far, so he's playing really well. Hole nine, 89 meters, par three. Uh, this is a, a pushing hyzer the whole way into a leaning green with a raised basket. So you just want to keep it on hyzer and try to land it close uh, or left side of the green. It's a little hard to tell where that one went. No, it was a little uh, left side, six meters maybe from the basket. This one caught up early. And there's Anders. This is a little, looks a little wide, but it just flips into the gap perfectly, oh and he's gonna be God. parked. <laughs> wow. Uh, can't really draw it up much better than that. And he's been throwing those PDs since 
2007, I think he started on the Dismania team. Oh, wow. Yeah. And not to outshine Carl there with a perfect drive. With a, I think it was a Cax. Kaxe. Solid birdie. Yes, I'm happy with that one. You got yourself a turkey there. I did, yeah. Kind of helped me get the round going a little bit. And really uh, good play there from Ole as well, putting it really close to the basket on the upshot. You really don't want to have a putt on the screen. Taps in the birdie here as well. Three under for the card. I'm guessing that's. Uh, I mean, it's that's a really good score for this uh, for this hole. It's a hard angle to to uh, to hit, and you have to get so skinny with those small branches the whole way. Yeah, a great way to finish out our front nine here on moving day at the Valhall Open. First stop of the Swedish Pro Tour. Take a quick look. Lots of green there on Anders card. Yeah, he's playing fantastic. And uh, he's jumped out in front of all of us. And it does look like we have Holmar there moving his way back up as well. Yeah. Big shout out to all of the tour partners here making the Swedish Disc Golf Pro Tour possible. Thank you so much for watching the front nine and we are very excited to show you the back nine. So we'll see you there. See you on the back.